when I returned to painting after that long series of drawings that, that took me into the 1990s, I began painting um, and it took a while to make that transition but originally I was painting, focusing much more on the urban landscape um, the, uh, and it was the architecture, the shapes, shadows, forms of urban um, landscape that uh, that really sort of facilitated the painting. So I, I, I could certainly f uh, um, develop my work through a kind of architecture. So when I was uh, introduced to the west of Ireland um, by my first residency at the Balland Glen Arts Foundation in County Mayo, I began to see within the geology of the rocks um, something similar to the architecture of the urban landscape. Uh, and uh, I've been exploring that same stretch of coastline for the last 20 years. Um, not, a, not always continuously, because I've, I've travelled a lot and I've worked in other environments, but I tend to make my best work when I, when I focus for a period of time on, uh, on, an, on a, an area of landscape, almost like trying to solve a problem, trying to figure out how can I make a painting out of this landscape, and whether that's in the States or whether it's in France or whether it's in Mayo um, or County Cork for that matter. Uh, each landscape offers a, a set of problems that need to be solved. And um, I think I discovered in that stretch of coastline around Ballycastle in County Mayo, right out to Belmullet, um, a, a, a sort of open-ended uh, love affair, you might say, uh, a relationship, I should say, with, with, the, uh, with that coastline um, that draws me back and I keep working. I keep kind of finding something new to say about it. And so the painting Longshore, which is in the show, um, is an example of, of uh, trying to convey the experience of standing on those rocks that continuously changes. It's different at any hour of the day, any day of the week. It's, uh, it, can be, it can look entirely different. And so, um, and so it, it keeps feeding my, um, my work. <laughs> 